Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five simple and helpful Elementor CSS tips and tricks you need to know. So first on our list is how to rotate the icon in Elementor button widget. So to do so, we're just going to drag a button widget here, and then we're just going to give the button uh, uh, extra large size, and then we're going to add an icon to it. So whatever the icon you want, but for this tutorial, I'll be adding uh, the arrow icon, either this icon here, or we can just search for arrow icon and see all forms of arrow icon we have here. So whatever arrow icon, I'll just add this arrow icon here. Okay, now I'm going to set the icon position after, and then I'm going to give an icon space of uh, 15. So now that I've done that, I'll go to the style option. I just want to give you a little bit of tweaking so that it looks nice. And I'm going to select the background color to red. I don't know why I like red. So I'm just going to select it to red. So now that I've done that, I'll just head straight to the advanced settings. Now under the advanced settings, we'll come down to the custom CSS. Mind you, this feature is only available to the Elementor Pro user. So if you are not yet an Elementor Pro user, you can find a link on the description of this video where you can download the Elementor Pro. So right here, we're just going to type uh, down a simple CSS code here. Uh, Okay, Elementor, and there was a button, and there was the icon, and this we transform, and then we're just going to say rotate, and then we're going to specify the degree. So I'm just going to rotate the 60 degree. You can see the icon is already rotated here. If I should say 120 degree, if I should say 120 degree to rotate like this, so you can rotate it to face any direction you want it to to face. You can also do that with any other arrow icon here or any other icon depending on what result you want. So if you add this here, you're going to get something like this and so on and so forth. The next on our list is how to add a vertical divider in Elementor. So to do so, we're just going to add a flexbox container, this uh, structure, and then we'll just go to the advanced settings here and we'll give it a pattern of 100 pixel all around so we can see what we're doing. So the next we're going to do is we'll go to the settings for this particular container here, the layout settings, and then we'll make sure it is set to direction, row, horizontal, like so. And then the next we'll do is just click on this plus icon and drag a container here. And then we're just going to duplicate this container, duplicate it into three. And then make sure we're going to set each of the container was is set to full width, full width, and full width. All right, now that we've done that, right here on this container here, we're just gonna add a text, text here, and add a text here, and then uh, on the next, we're just gonna copy this text. Let's let's make it a bit lengthy. Let's copy uh, so we'll have something like this. All right, so we're just gonna copy this, and then we'll paste it here. So we now have text here and here. So now we want to add uh, a vertical divider here. So to do so, we're just gonna click here, and then we're gonna come down to this divider I'm gonna drag and drop it here okay now that is loaded now we're going to come to the container settings here the container settings we're going to make sure it align items to the center and then we're going to justify content to the center as well so we're going to have something like so all right so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do is on this divider here on this divider we're just going to edit this divider and then we we'll head um, to the advanced settings under the advanced settings we'll come down to the custom CSS now for the custom CSS we're just going to type this simple line of CSS code here and we're going to do the trick for us to transform uh, we're going to say rotate and then we're going to say 90 degree so you can see we now have uh, a, 90, a, a vertical divider here so now we can just head back to the, the style Head back this time, change the weight. You can change the weight to what we want. You can change it to like uh, three. You can change it to three. Now, you can reduce the, the height, the length. You can reduce the length. Now, there are two ways of reducing the length of this divider. As you can see it's very long. So, one of the ways you can go about this is you can either do it by just using this normal width here. You can see. And then you set it to the center, align to the center. And you have something like so you can still go further to reduce it uh, to let's say 30 percent and you have something like this you now have a vertical um a vertical divider now another way you can go about reducing this one here is you can just come to this container here and then uh, we can just reduce it here to like this to let's say 40 percent Reduce it to 40%. You notice that the divider, the length of the divider is also reducing. Now you can increase it now. Now that it's done that, you can just increase the length here. You can increase it here. 
to suit what you want. It all depends on your creativity and the result you want. So at the end of the day, you're going to have a vertical divider. So the next on our list is how to create a color gradient border. I've already taken out the time to create this um, this skill set section of our website. So as you can see here, this is just the counter. This is just the, the counter widget and then this is a container with a box shadow. So I've multiplicated it and filled it up like this to have something like this so that at the end of the day our design will come out so we understand what we're actually doing. So in order for us to achieve a color gradient border. I've already written out the code in my Atom code editor, so we're just going to copy this out. I'm going to copy this out, and then we'll go back here under this container here. We're just going to edit the container and go to the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings, as usual, we'll come to the custom CSS code. Now we we'll just paste it here, so you can see this is it. So you can see. So if we should do the same for all, if we should do the same for all come here or you better stay to speed up your work you can just come here edit click on copy come here and then you paste style do the same here you paste style here so you're gonna have something that looks like this so you can see this looks beautiful so you can also come down to the advanced settings and under the CSS and then this is where you can edit it and change the various colors here for the border left the border right and then the top the bottom and so on and then you can even change the the border width and then you can also change the border radius as well so the number four css tips and trick i'm going to show you is how to move the icons on the elemental icon list widget to the right so when we come here under the element and we search for icon we drag and drop this the icon list you can see by default all the icons here are at the left now we can just come here to the style option let me just um, go to the text let's increase the text font size to uh, uh, 35 and then let's go to the icon as well let's increase the icon size to 35 as well so we can see precisely what we are doing so as, you can, as i said earlier you can see that all the icons by default are set to the left now we're going to move it or to the right so to do so we're just going to write down a simple css code Selector Elemental Icon List Icon And then we're going to see order uh, We're going to give it order value of 1 And then in order for us to create a space between the icons We can just write a simple Margin left And uh, we're just gonna give it, um, let's see, value of 15 pixel. And we'll have something like this. As you can see, all the icons are now moved to the right. And if you even, if you should set the icon list to horizontal, the layer to to inline, you can see you have something like this. And if you set it to default, you have something like this. And all the icons are already moved to the right. The last but not the least is how to create a gradient progress bar. So let's search for the progress bar widget. Okay, this is a widget. We're just going to drag and drop it here. So by default, Elementor allows us to set only solid colors on our um, progress bar. So take for instance, you go to the style option. You can see here with the progress bar. You can change the progress bar color, this color here to whatever solid color you want, like so. And then for the background, you can drag it here to something off white. Okay. and then you can come for the inner text you can also edit the inner text and set it to whatever color you want as well and then you can change this text style here to do whatever you want but uh, that won't be necessary as we're going to remove the text title so we'll have something like so so now i've already written out the code in order for us to enable us to change this to a gradient progress bar so to do so we just go to the advanced settings like usual and then we we'll head down to the custom CSS code and then I go to my atom we have already written out the code there are two gradient types of gradient we can set here we can set the radial gradient and then we can set the linear gradient as well so I'm just going to copy all this code here for the radial gradient so you can see it and then I head back here and under this custom custom css i'm just going to paste it here and you can see this is what we have here so you, if you notice the code here you can see we are using the rgba so for those of you that are finding it difficult to get the rgba color worry not you can just head on to 
Google and then you search for color picker and then when you search it you can see Google gives you the option here and this is the RGB color here here you can just drag it to here take for instance this green here you want to use this green and just copy the RGB color here this color code here copy it and you go back to your editor and then the first three you're just going to replace the first three with it and you have something like so and then you go back here you drag this somewhere here and then you copy out this RGB color and then you paste it here for the first three replace the first three where you've copied and then you have something like this so if we should duplicate this so we can see the linear we can duplicate this and then we'll go back to our, our, my atom code editor I'm just going to copy the linear code here and then I go back here I'm just going to edit this and then I head to the advanced settings and under the advanced settings I go to the custom code I'm just going to replace this code for radial gradient with that of the linear gradient and you see something like this now you can do the same here head back here and then change the color here by copying this and then you come here for the first three values you're just going to replace it with where you copy it and then you head back here and you copy this out and then for these first three values you're just going to replace it and you have something like this so you can see the linear gradient color you can see it and you can see the difference between the both of them how they appear so so we've come to the end of our list of simple and helpful elemental css tips and tricks you should know so if you find this video helpful please remember to hit the like button and if you're new to our channel you can hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next i drop a new video remember to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have any question or suggestion and i will attend to them until then see you next time bye, -bye.